Right guys, it's Monk here for the Visual Arts, and I've been getting a few requests um, saying that people want to know how to edit their intros in After Effects using various um, different tools. Uh, I'm going to go over a few of them today, mainly Twitch. Um, if you don't have it, you can buy it, or you can uh, search up YouTube, and uh, yeah. You'll get it. You'll be able to get it without having to pay. Right? It's really. I'd really recommend getting it though, because it's one of my favourite plugins at the moment. But yeah, let's get started. Um, I'm gonna go and where is it? Second. Oh, here's my background. What I made for robot. I'm not liking it as much as I did anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of it. But yeah, I'm just gonna open an intro up the lens intro um, and just the render for the moment so once you've rendered out your intro just with no sound effects or no nothing like that one we'll make a new composition uh, make a new composition HDTV 720 29.97 29.97 frames per second um, duration I think this one's about I'm going to put it 8 seconds Okay, right, okay, right, and uh, you want to bring in your intro when you've just rendered it out of Cinema 4D, you haven't added anything to it, and drag it onto your thing, it should lock on in place like that, okay, and now if you just play it through, you can see it's the intro, my latest one I've made, so, yeah, right, um, so say you wanted to add... Um, I don't know. No light factory. Um, I'm not gonna, but I'm just gonna show you just in case you want to. Um, light factory EZ uh, is a good one. Um, I don't have any animation presets, but I don't know. Wait, use these. Yes, sorry. Um, I think. Um, no, not rock concert. It might be rock concert two. Some of these are quite good, you know, you can do that and stuff like that. It's a bit like optical flares, but not really like optical flares. But yeah, um, as you can see, there's all these different things what you can use. Um, oops. But yeah, I, I don't, I don't really, um, I don't really like to use optical, uh, not optical flares, uh, light factory. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use that. Right. Okay. So what I'm gonna, what I like to use is if you go to effect, I'm gonna select the layer. That would be a good start. Go to effect and video copilot and Twitch. Right now, Twitch. Um, basically, you can alter alter the Twitch here. Um, I'm gonna leave it at 100. Um, what you need to do though to be able to use it is you use these. So, say you want the twitch to occur at the end, say there. You would keyframe whatever you're going to use. I'm going to use blur, color, scale, and slide. Okay. You'd keyframe them and then you'd move it across to where you want it to start and then you would tick them. Like that. Now, as you can see, it, the intro is normal like that, and then it goes like that for, you, for it to tap, like go out. Okay, like that. Okay, you can obviously you can mess around with the different ones. You could use light or time, but I don't use them. I stay away from them. <coughs> you can obviously do the amount up and the speed. You can alter that to whatever you like. I like to keep it as it is. So you've used Twitch. Now another one I like to use is DigiFX Damage and go across to Digi D E Artifact. And as you can see it sort of gives it like that damage film look, but we don't we want it when the Twitch comes in because it gives it quite a nice effect. So what you want to do is you want to put the source blend all the way up. When you start to see the twitch going in, which is there, 
we're going to go frame before it and keyframe it at 100 go a frame, a couple of frames forward or whatever to there and put it to whatever you want like you could put it to zero if you want or you could put it all the way down to zero or you could put it up to like you know 39 or whatever and I, I, I'm going to put it at 39 because I like to keep it around 40 or 50 but depending on what I'm doing obviously <clears throat> so that's basically it that's all you really need to know because now you can see the intro coming in and it twitches out like that if you want to see what it looks like at the end it sort of looks like this like that at the end so I've done it a little bit different this time but yeah you get the idea anyway yeah that's it for now guys um, thanks for watching um, enter my speed art competition as well um, make sure you do that and yeah thanks for watching guys peace